All right, how's it going? This is Kevin Kinzer with GSL Technology Suppressors. And one of the questions that I get very, very often is how do I clean suppressors? Right, what do I need to do to clean my suppressor? And in our mind, we get in this mentality of, hey, I need to scrape the carbon off my firing pan. I've got to have my weapon as clean as possible in order to operate correctly. Suppressors are kind of a different thing, you know? How many times in your life have you ever cut the muffler off of your car and then cleaned it so that it made your vehicle quieter? Never, right? The same is very true with suppressors, okay? This is a 5.56 suppressor, the GT 5.56, non-user serviceable, it's fully welded. You never clean this thing. The only section where I'd ever clean this is right here at the mounting area. I would just take a wipe, like a rem wipe or something, clear that out, right? Clear out the carbon that builds up in there over time. But as far as cleaning the internals, the baffles, you just shoot it. You will run out of ammo before you fill this thing up with carbon from your standard 5.56 rounds, your 223 rounds. Okay, so that's the GT 5.56. The multi cal exactly the same, right? Shoot through it, right? Just keep firing, you know, same thing with the mount. I can remove this and just run a, run a wipe in there, kind of clear it out, reassemble it and be good to go, okay? Neither of those would you shoot wet. My GT-308, same thing, just shoot through it. You know, like I said, it would take you millions of dollars of ammo, millions of rounds to foul up a 308 suppressor. Right, they're not a dirty cartridge. As we get down into pistol caliber stuff, it's definitely a viable concern, right? 45 cal, I'm not super concerned with. Okay, this one is fully welded, so it's it's non-user serviceable anyway. I can remove the mount, you know, the rear mount on my Python 45, and I can clean out that area the same way. But getting down into 22, 22 caliber is an entirely different animal, okay? Our Woodland 22 is user serviceable, okay? It's rated for 17 HMR, 22 long rifle, and 22 magnum. And it comes with a disassembly tool already included in the box that just drops on that front cap. Okay, so I'll pop this out and pull off this front, uh, pull off this front cap, and then I get to my actual baffle stack, okay? I got a little cup here. I've got a nylon brush. I've got some Power Green all-purpose cleaner degreaser, biodegradable, and this is concentrated stuff from Skillcraft. This is non-ammonia-based, and it's not super abrasive, so it should be super helpful for us. Aluminum, there's often a concern about aluminum suppressors, you know, not being able to put in an ultrasonic cleaner. And that's not true either. As long as you're not using something ammonia based or super, super abrasive, you can put it in an ultrasonic, okay? Uh, the baffles, anyway. The exterior, the anodizing on this would get eaten away over time. But in order to clean my suppressor, clean out these baffles, what I'm gonna do is dump them out, okay? Drop them in, uh, drop them in my rock splash here. Okay, this one doesn't want to come out. So in this case, what I can use is a wooden dowel, right? I can put a wooden dowel on the end and give that a little bit of pressure and kind of knock that forward. I've never ever cleaned these suppressors before. Let's see if that'll work. Never cleaned them. So, you know, I just, I just shoot them. Let's see what else do I have. All right, there's the second one. There we go. So there's my second baffle, third baffle, fourth baffle, fifth baffle. Perfect. I just used a pen. <laughs> all right, so I've got my tube cleared out. All right, got all the baffles out. I'm gonna set my tube to the side and I can kind of wipe that down and clear it down. But this right here, the baffles are what I'm actually concerned with. Okay, here we can see. Here we can see my baffles down there in the bottom, right? Obviously the most heavily corroded and heavily, uh, there we go, see that? This one takes most of the pressure, most of the blast. So that's my first blast baffle. So I'm gonna just throw all those in there, right? Throw them down in a little rocks glass and put my baffles in there. 
And then I'm gonna take my simple power green, simple green, and just pour it in there. Okay, put in one part simple green, rinse it around a bit. I'm gonna put some water in there too, just a little bit. Because this stuff, this stuff is highly concentrated. So you can kind of see that these baffles are already starting to clean up. Check that out. See how they're getting shiny? So I'll swivel, swirl that around in my rocks glass a little bit. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. There we go, about 50-50. And that'll cover up the cover up the baffles completely right and they are completely inside of the solution so let's uh, set that for a minute all right um like i mentioned higher higher caliber stuff not needing to be not needing cleaning servicing I've got a nylon bristled brush here that you can get at Harbor Ferry, you can get Home Depot, anywhere. And I didn't want to use a wire brush, right? I want to use something that's not going to be as, as you know, abrasive. So I'm just going to take it out. And you can see this baffle is already starting to clear up. Check that out. There's a little bit of carbon, a little bit of deposits on there. So I'm just going to take this little nylon brush and just kind of hit that a little bit, right? Kind of clean that guy up. And then right there on the blast end, you can see it's pretty black. So I'm going to hit that with my nylon brush, not wire brush. There we go. That's pretty, pretty cleared off. That looks and looking pretty good. I'm just going to throw these in here. I'll throw them in there overnight. See what happens. All right? Just give them a give them a good soak in my baffle solution here. Some simple green and water. Nice. I'll just leave them in there. Let them uh, let them sit in there. Let that stuff. Let that stuff hit the uh, hit the baffles, kind of loosen up some of the grit and the deposits on there, and uh, check it out tomorrow. Um, I guess right now we could talk about the 2021 catalog. GSL just released their 2021 catalog. It's on. Uh, there's a link to it at bit.ly forward slash GSL links. You can go there. The catalog is link number seven, link number seven. And it has, you know, the Phoenix, the Trinity SS, some of the, the P90, the Mac suppressors for the Mac 9, Mac 45, some of the new stuff that was added. The Sten suppressor is in there as well. So feel free to check that out. You can, uh, you can download it, check it out there. bit.ly forward slash GSL links. And I'll uh, paste a paste, throw a link in there on the video. All right, it's been one hour, just over one hour, that my baffles were sitting in my Simple Green cleaning solution. You can see that that's a little bit darker. It pulled off some of the grit, some of the carbon that was in there and built up. Got my baffle stack set up. So it's nice and pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. Here you can kind of see one of the end baffles. This is the blast baffle. Um, and I figure this is as good a time as any to talk about the reassembly of this guy. Okay. 
there's a specific keying sequence to the woodland suppressor, right? Right here, you can see that little detent right there. Some people sometimes think this is a baffle strike, but in reality, it's just part of the suppressor. It's part of how the gas escapes. You can also see that little hole right there, okay? This is the very bottom baffle, and that's why you can see that. That's why you see that hole. So I know that one's my very last one. And now this baffle is gonna be my very first one. It has a hole right there in the top of it. See that? So that's gonna be my first one. I'm gonna turn this one with that little detent right there, the little detent that's on there at the 12 o'clock position. Okay, and that's gonna be my first one. The second one is going to be, see the detent? 12, six o'clock position. Okay, so 12, six, there we go. There's the first two, so 12, and then six o'clock is gonna be my second. Third one is gonna be back to 12 o'clock again. So 12, there's these little keyways right there that latch onto there, right there. 12, six, 12, check. And the last three are <coughs> nine, three, nine. So I'll put this one to nine o'clock. So it'll be to my left. There we go. Three o'clock is to the right. There we go. And 12, 6, 12, 9, 3, 9. So I'll put that, that, and that. 9 o'clock is going to be my bottom one. Boom. So now I've got my baffle stack reassembled. I'm going to take my can. While I was waiting on the solution, I just wiped this down with the same cleaner. Wiped it down real quick, quick and you can see it's very clean now. Looks like a brand new can. So I'll drop it on there and just slide this guy down. Get all my baffles back in there. 12, 6, 12, 9, 3, 9. There we go. All right. So now I got all the baffles back in there as intended. I'm gonna take the cap, thread that guy on, take my little disassembly tool, <clears throat> thread that guy on there like that, tighten it down, and that's it. That's the cleaning of the GSL Woodland Suppressor. And now I can go back to shooting another thousand rounds through it. <laughs> Cleaning on these is recommended every 200 to 300 rounds, something like that. But 